there, my name is Tracy from Randomness of Rudy, and in this video we're going to talk about Aquarius in a relationship with Aquarius. This is a part of my YouTube series, The Aquarius Experience, where I take a look at Aquarius in a relationship with each sign of the zodiac. So if you haven't seen the first video I did where I go a bit more in depth on what it's actually like to date an Aquarius, please go back and check that out. Aquarius with Aquarius is a fine match. Um, and it's similar to what I've said in my other series in that when we date a member of the of our same sign, it can be wonderful because we share a lot of the same positive traits. And it can also be challenging because we share a lot of the same difficult traits. All right. And so that's the case with Aquarius in a relationship with another Aquarius. However, because two Aquarians in a relationship uh, operate on a mental plane, because Aquarius is an air sign, and because Aquarius is, is an energy that is very novel, very innovative, uh, very creative, and, and prefers to walk to the beat of his or her own drum, two Aquarians in a match will really get along just fine. And, 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 and both, both participants will be able to build a friendship, which is something Aquarius in general requires first and foremost when it comes to relationships, all right? And so this is a wonderful start. The other side of it, too, is that there's a great rapport, mentally speaking. There's a great um, mental connection between two Aquarians in a relationship. And so the two of you would be able to bounce ideas off one another and, and really debate and communicate different innovative concepts and, and share your foresight with each other. And so that's also something quite thrilling that two Aquarians in a relationship would grow to love and appreciate, all right? Um, when it comes to sexual compatibility, again, your lovemaking styles are going to be similar. And so when it comes to lovemaking, both of you should enjoy each other's style in the bedroom. Uh, I, I have it in my head that Aquarius is, is probably the kinkiest sign of the zodiac. And so if you can bring your kink together in, a bed, in the bedroom, uh, sexual compatibility could, could certainly be top notch for two Aquarius, okay? When it comes to your disagreements, again, you know, you're a lot alike, and so at least you're able to communicate your thoughts. You're able to communicate your ideas and, and share your your intuitive knowledge, which is which is wonderful. Um, but I think the one issue that may come up is that Aquarius is a fixed sign. And so two Aquarians in a relationship are going to be very stubborn, and they're going to be stuck in their own way of you know, thinking and, and their own personal beliefs and their own personal philosophies. And so if, if you if two Aquarians don't share uh, the same thoughts, the same opinions, the same ideas, then it could it could make it difficult to communicate and overcome some of your differences. So this is just something to keep in mind. Um, one of you will have to be the more flexible of the two, and most likely in a in a heterosexual relationship, it will be the female uh, that tends to be the most flexible. Um, and the other thing to keep in mind too is that two signs, two of the same signs in a relationship. Um, while it's it's a it's a good union, all right. It's a it's a wonderful experience because there's this innate understanding between you. Um, it can be tricky to form a relationship in the long run, especially for two Aquarians, and and that's because Aquarius is very hard to pin down, and so. We are made up of so many other elements outside of just our sun sign, and, and hopefully the other elements within two Aquarians um, will make the relationship more rewarding. Um, but this is something to keep in mind in that it could be difficult to turn something into a long-term commitment when it comes to two Aquarians in a relationship. But nevertheless, you know, there's, as I said, a, a really wonderful uh, innate understanding between you and you both operate on very similar wavelengths, and so it's just easy for the two of you to get along. If friendship is your goal, um, you will be friends for life. If a relationship is what you're looking for, you may find at certain uh, stages of, of the process here, uh, of the courtship, at certain stages you may find that you have to work a little bit harder and put forth additional effort, okay? But none, nevertheless, this is, this is a fine match. If you want more information, feel free to visit my website at randomnessofrudy.com.